This program is brought to you by Emory University. In the United States, the cost of not breastfeeding has $2.2 million of direct medical costs associated with women not breastfeeding their babies. And that factors in the, you know, the sick visits. What it doesn't include is all of the um, uh, cost to mom's health. We don't want them to go into this as a diet technique, right? Um, and we want to make sure that they have accurate ac expectations. But it's absolutely true that you burn calories when you're making milk. About 500 extra calories a day are gonna be burned in the manufacture of human milk. So that's great. Absolutely, you're gonna burn that baby weight. But we also know that nature wants to protect the infant. And so moms might hold on to maybe the last five to 10 pounds of their pre-pregnancy weight or their pregnancy weight, and they won't burn that off until they've completely weaned the baby. But what they find is that if you go in overweight, you can actually lose some weight making milk. And extended breastfeeding particularly is good for that, even beyond the first year of life. The other thing that breastfeeding does though is it returns your uterus to its pre-pregnant shape. So it's an important health benefit to mom in the immediate postpartum period because the uterus is using the hormones of lactation to clamp down on the uterus. It, it's a way to, um, the nipple stimulation creates um, its own sort of pressure bandage on the uterus and so you see less postpartum hemorrhage if moms are breastfeeding. And certainly in the third world global setting, we encourage breastfeeding for active management of postpartum bleeds. Then we're gonna find more and more out as we direct research dollars toward breastfeeding. I think we'll find out more and more about the um, health benefits to mom. There was an article just last week that looked at the rate of a very aggressive form of breast cancer in African-American mothers and they found that um, the risk of moms who had, they had multiparity as one of the risk factors, and multiparity that was associated with not breastfeeding and particularly increased their odds of having this aggressive form of breast cancer. So there's more to find out, and we need research dollar directed there, absolutely, because we're gonna find out more and more about women's health. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.